Hi, now we are going to discuss about property binding in Angular 2. Basically, whenever you put any element in the DOM, such as image, they have some properties like SRC. So, image SRC is the property for the image tag. Now, you want to bind the particular SRC value at runtime. So, in that particular situation, you will go for the property binding where you will have to put the property name in the square brackets and after that in the value you will pass the name of the property of your component. So whichever value that property would be having, that component property would be having at runtime, the same image or particular value will be shown at the browser during the runtime. So let's see a practical implementation of property binding in Angular 2. Now, for the property binding, as here we have already did the binding using the interpolation but now we'll have to make a change in the same application so that I can show you about the property binding. So what I'll do here, I will just replace this particular thing like this interpolation from here and since I'm talking about the property binding, so here I'll have to go for some of the property of td element that is the inner html that is the property here and here i will pass the value so the value which i was passing here was nothing but the first name property all right so if i will save that you can see that there is nothing coming out there all right why because it is treating it like a normal value but since this one is not the normal value, it this inner HTML is the property which I want to bind. So whichever property you want to bind, you just need to put it inside the square bracket. And as soon as you will do that, you can see in the browser, I again get my detail. Similarly, you can use the inner HTML property here as well. But since I'm not going to use it as it is, I will bind the value. So here, what I'll do, I will just put the last name again and will remove this interpolation syntax. Let's save it and you will find no difference out there. So whenever you are using with any tag and you want to bind any of the property of that particular attribute of that particular property you will just enclose that inside this square bracket so it's not just about this let's take one more example like just before this image i want to put an img all right so img is again a tag out there so what i want to put it here is the src like here i'll pass the image all right and here is the path of that particular image which you can see it is nothing but the tutorials point logo but I want to sh put that in form of the binding so what I'll do I'll just uh, cut this path from here and will come to the employee component and right here what I'll do I will put a variable called img path which will be of string type and it will store the path of that image all right now I'll have to bind this path with my property. So let's come back to this HTML and here I'll put this SRC property in the square bracket and here what I'll do, I will just path the IMG path. All right, let me just save that. And again, you can see it is showing you the logo of tutorials point. All right. so doesn't matter which kind of value you are working with you will be able to bind that particular property using the square bracket with the property name and the value you don't have to make any changes here as it will be the name of the property all right so here you just pass the property name as here i'm passing the first name last name here i pass the img path which i just defined right here now if you will not enclose them inside the square bracket, it will be treated as the actual value. So if I'll save it, you will see that I would not get any image. And if I will see what is wrong with that, you can see that it is 404 means not found. And if I will see the structure of it, like inside this my app employee, 
there is an image and here you can see img path because this img path is being treated as the value of the means that location for the image but it is not actually the location it is a property which is containing the location all right so for that i will use this square bracket so that it will be clear like this one is bound with this property all right so let me save it and again i will be able to see this logo back all right now if i will compare this property binding with this interpolation so basically in property binding you will not be able to make any calculations or expressions right like here you can do some expressions also but here you will not be able to put for example if i want to concatenate mr with my this emp name i can do that here like i will put mr i will save it and here you can see in the full name i'm concatenating this mr with the full name but that will not be possible with the property binding so whenever you want to make any expression you will go for the interpolation and if you just want to bind with a particular value and you want to get the result as it is you will work with the property binding